rage. He probably really doesn't get the idea, but he puts his hands up in the air above his head, folds his hands, and he's praying. Now, i got to think, Bishop Strickland, that that's very pleasing to our Lord, that this little boy at age two and a half is going to pray. Now, why do I say that? Because don't be underestimating the children. You, your example to them is profound. They're going to pick up what's good or bad. So challenge your children to pray with you each night, especially the family rosary. Bishop Strickland, how about a blessing for our radio audience, please? Almighty God, we ask your blessing for all of us as we listen and speak about the wondrous truth you've revealed to us. Help us to bring glory to you by being fully alive. And we ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God, folks. All of Bishop Strickland's shows are on VMPR, Virgin Most Powerful Radio podcast. Uh, tomorrow, next week, we've got Bishop Athanasius Snyder on Tuesday's Terry and Jesse show. You won't want to miss that. And much, much more here on Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Thank you so much for your support in proclaiming the teachings of Christ and His church, the perennial teachings. God love you and your family. We'll see you again, God willing, next week. St. Faustina's Prayer for Priests O oh my Jesus, I beg thee on behalf of the whole church, grant it love and the light of thy spirit, and give power to the words of priests, so that hardened hearts might be brought to repentance and return to thee, O oh Lord. Lord, give us holy priests. Thou thyself maintain them in holiness. O oh, divine and great high priest, May the power of thy mercy accompany them everywhere and protect them from the devil's traps and snares, which are continually being set for the souls of priests. May the power of thy mercy, O Lord, shatter and bring to naught all that might tarnish the sanctity of priests. For thou canst do all things. Amen. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Guadalupe Radio Network announces the launch of La Promesa Legacy Circle, formed to recognize and honor our dedicated donors who have made long-term commitments to the network through gifts from their estates. We invite you to join our family and allow us to be a part of your personal legacy. For more information on making a legacy gift for the benefit of the GRN and a guide to charitable estate planning, contact our friends at the Catholic Foundation at 972-661-9792 or info at catholicfoundation.com. Esther Fernandez is a realtor with JP and Associates and a sponsor here on KTH 910 AM. She's a parishioner at Holy Spirit Parish in Duncanville and a supporter and volunteer with the Guadalupe Radio Network. Our real estate market remains strong and interest rates could change. There are first-time buyer programs available for teachers, nurses, police, and firefighters. You can reach Esther by calling 214-845-1753 or by email at estherzfernandez at gmail.com. That's E-S-T-H-E-R-Z Fernandez at gmail.com. Everyone said it would be quick and simple. I didn't go with her or try to stop her. She said it was her choice and her body. Look, I had other things to worry about. She didn't want to listen to me. I felt helpless. I didn't want to mess up all my plans. I gave up trying to change her mind. Are you a man suffering from a loss due to an abortion decision? If you are, you may feel alone, but you're not. There are people who understand and can help at projectjosephdallas.org. She said this was not going to affect me. Why am I still hurting? So much time has gone by and I still remember it. Don't suffer alone. Visit projectjosephdallas.org. A message from Project Joseph of Dallas, a ministry for men who have suffered the experience of abortion.
Welcome to Back to the Father, a show about the journey of life focused on our final end, which is God himself, our loving Father. And now here's your host, Dave Palmer. And hi, and welcome, everybody, to this edition of the Friday, 1 o'clock Central Time, Back to the Father show here on all the Guadalupe Radio Network social media sites. We're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, and we're on Facebook as well. And we appreciate you watching and also participating. You can even call in if you want to, 877-757-9424. My name is Dave Palmer, as Stan just said, along with the uh, most of the crew. I, I don't know who the crew is these days because it kind of... <laughs> Kind of morphs and, you know, adds and subtracts, but uh, we got well, pretty much everybody. Daniel uh, is not able to be with us today, but uh, got an interesting topic. Let me tell you the topic first. Uh, a little bit about the show. This uh, is a program based on the teachings of St. Thomas Aquinas in the Summa Theologia, which is his classic. St. Thomas Aquinas was a 13th century Dominican priest and uh, the doctor of the doctors of the Catholic Church, the angelic doctor, and an all-around uh, pretty amazing person. And uh, he wrote this uh, Summa Theologia. He didn't finish it, but uh, it's big, it's five volumes, and so we just take some part of it and dissect it and talk about it and discuss it in a pretty light manner, and then after we've kind of gotten ourselves all wrapped up in philosophy, we close out the show with some fun trivia. All right, I think everybody came today with trivia, so uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, again, we do appreciate your participation, and I think Cecil is keeping an eagle eye on your comments. If you want to comment during the show, she'll let, she'll let everybody know what you said. Uh, all right, so uh, the cast today, uh, Cecil Anderson over here with a hat on. Hello. Uh, nice hat, big <laughs> thank hat. You. Yeah. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Uh, all the better for everyone to notice me with. <laughs> Wasn't it the last year, last week you brought the, you were coming back from vacation. Oh yeah, I brought the, the very interesting the, Denmark yeah, hat. Dan yes. Denmark. The, the Danmark hat. Denmark. Yeah. Denmark. Hello. Okay. Yes, it was, um, that was last week. I didn't wear it the whole show though, so people might not remember that. This one is a little bit more reasonable. Even though it's big, it's more normal. Yeah, kind of a sun hat maybe. Yeah, it's a very nice okay. sun hat. And these days with the sun... It's out and about. It's out. These days, the these sun's days. out. Yeah. <laughs> Just these days. Yeah. Normally, the sun's not out. It's not. These days normally, it is. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the people well. don't come here for science. They come here for theology. <laughs> That's right. They, they come here. Uh, that is Jonathan von Weber Hansberg. That is. Uh, and he is a... Uh, going into University of Dallas as a I freshman am. next year, you're pretty uh, pretty stoked, pretty excited. I am, yes. Yeah. Like, and what's your you you don't declare a major till like junior year, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you you can, but I haven't quite yet because I'm still kind of thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, but, but probably something like politics or yeah, politics or something to do with with radio, maybe maybe journalism. I'm you're a minor in of... philosophy. Oh, definitely. Seriously? Yeah, I'm, I want to do that, yeah. All right, okay, okay. You get a lot of philosophy there. It's, mm -hmm. good, it's good school. Yeah, it's definitely so. a good school for philosophy. Looking forward to it. And you might hang on as part of the show if time allows, uh, if you're able to if do If I can it. get a car, yeah. <laughs> that's the plan. Yeah, Walking we were just it. discussing Operation Get Jonathan a Car. Maybe yeah. if we can raise money for a car. On yes, the, the Jonathan The, the vast uh, Back to the Father audience. Yes. Oh, yeah, the thing. I think chips in like okay. a thousand. I think we're good. Oh, that, definitely, yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if somebody said, oh, I'll, I'll buy him a car? Well, I told him he could have my old car. But it doesn't run. I thought it ran. <laughs> it needs a new transmission, yes. Yeah. Need, need one that actually, that actually runs, right? Yeah. Come on, you're okay. so picky, Jonathan. I'm just sorry. like, take what you're given. It needs a car that runs. Well, I, I was mean, telling See this younger generation, they're, they're just so, it's like, <sighs> they want I'm, everything I'm on demand. demand. They just, yeah, uh, everything they, handed they, to them. They, they think everything just yeah, handed to them on a silver platter, right, <laughs> young man? Okay, yeah. all right. I'm sorry. And this is uh, William Kirkendall. Uh, Kirkendall. Kirkendall. We Kirkendall. only allow interns with interesting last names. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Kirkendall does not. Okay, I've already talked about this. It doesn't have an R in it. So, anyway, so welcome. Uh, fresh back from vacation, right? I am, yes. Yeah, did you yes. guys have a good time? We did, yeah. We went like in like a full circle type thing. So, it was like we went to first, we went to Tulsa, Kansas City, St. Louis, North Little Rock, Springdale, and back here. Wow, oh, okay. that's fun. Okay. I have to say my favorite place was probably Kansas City, but St. Louis had a really nice church. I'm not yeah. sure if you're familiar with uh the Institute of Christ the King that like no, um, yeah. but they're uh, they have like such a beautiful church. Uh it's it was really amazing and we got to be there for the uh, sun mass on Friday evening, so oh, it was nice. it was really nice. Like it's a beautiful church and I'll just say like I have to deal with distraction a lot during prayer sometimes, but like there it was hard to be distracted. Oh, like right. it was, yeah. it was a great, beautiful because church. it was so, so it many was, things to yes, focus you on. Yes, God, like right? everywhere you turned, yeah. you there was like no way you could be distracted. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 
And uh, St. Louis, named uh, the namesake of uh, one of the great king saints yes. mm-hmm. of France, yes. St. Louis, mm-hmm. uh, was it the 14th? or uh, no. I thought it was the 9th. 9th, okay. Yeah. I think you're probably right. Yeah. 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 yeah no. and, uh, and you've got a blog. I do. That you want to promote that? Uh, I let do, people yeah. know about it? Um, yeah, so it's, I don't know if you can actually search me up. It is public, but I... Actually, I could probably pull up the website um, uh, and just let you guys know. Maybe the... we, we can put it in the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. copy paste. You can it do into that. It, yeah. All right. Yeah, is it on so, okay. It's on a what's the word? WordPress. Uh, WordPress. Yes. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So that's William and Jonathan and Cecil and me. Diane is uh, behind the glass, and she is taking calls. If you want to call in and be part of the show today, eight seven 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 five seven nine four two four. Last week we had a call. It was Adrian. He called in and yes. uh, cleared up a few things. Uh, and and by the way, it's, every Friday morning at seven o'clock, I am a guest on Catholic Drive Time, uh, and uh, they allow me to highlight what's going to be on the show at you know at one o'clock Central Time of this show. And so last week I mentioned that, and somebody who was here because of hearing the show you know in the morning. So if anybody's here because they heard the the teaser and the little promo this morning on Catholic Drive Time, uh, welcome, and maybe you can let us know yeah, that uh, us that know is why you are here. Otherwise, uh, we always want to hear from you. All right. So the topic today is the Holy Spirit. Two weeks away oh, ago, we talked about uh, Jesus Christ and the Incarnation. Today, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, and, uh, you know, what, what it is, means, the relations between the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, the names of the Holy Spirit, the symbols, and uh, how we can best relate to the Holy Spirit as well. Before we do that, though, um, a couple of graphics, if uh, you want to advance these. Uh, there's St. Thomas Aquinas. That's, uh, that's the guy, the man. Uh, and then look at this next one. I don't think you guys have seen this yet. This one has. Uh, do you see this graphic, uh, Back to the Father? You see that? Uh, that is Isn't amazing. That, that is really cool. Oh, oh my been, gosh. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Now, Aquinas. Oh, it's... Uh, and you, and you know <laughs> There's the, so many little Easter eggs in it. I always have to make yeah. fun of Jonathan, because he... About cultural references. You know what the, this is the reference to, right? Oh, Back to the Future, of course. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. that movie? Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? I have not. I've, I've actually... We actually... Like a couple of years ago, we were like in a hotel room, like we like just turned on the channel and it was like on, but we haven't like seen like the full thing yeah. yet. It's one of those movies. Uh, it's a great idea. It's a great premise. Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, uh, you know, they thought there's like some bad language. There wasn't anything mm-hmm. dirty. There was no sex scenes or anything yeah. like that. But there's kind of like a few unnecessary like swear words and you're mm-hmm. like why did you need to do that yeah I mean, unfortunately that's the uh, that's the case with most movies these yeah, days yeah i know i have you know, ferris bueller's day off it's like yeah. you know a really good idea it's hilarious but then you gotta you know throw in all yeah. these bad words so anyways uh uh, yeah, so I want to thank Rudy Carlos, who is part yes. of the Catholic Drive Time team, and he emailed me this morning and said, hey, thanks for being on with us this morning, and he uh, sent this, and so it's pretty cool. I Can you do something like this on Canva, or does he have to have a more sophisticated... I think sophisticated... he was using Photoshop for okay, that. Okay, okay. It's a little cause... bit fancier than our Canva. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Now, notice the date, okay, because the whole premise of Back to the Future is that you get into a, a car, a DeLorean, and then you can go back to the past or I, I guess to, maybe to the future as, as well. And so notice the date, November 5th of 1273. Oh. So, so, uh, <laughs> so that would have awesome. been... It wasn't it November 5th in the original and then the Back to the Future wasn't that the date that oh, they were traveling? Right? I think I want to say it is, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, 1273. I feel like one time we should all dress like we're in St. Thomas's time. <laughs> Oh, that'd be Just amazing. Like yeah. We're back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like dress. I don't even know. How did people dress back then? Like robes yes yeah, i was oh, like robes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay bowl cuts, you know. all right yeah so everyone gets, yeah, the all the guys cuts, get a bowl yeah. cut yeah yep. that would be pretty good okay we'll, we'll do that you organize that I so, will. So, okay <laughs> uh so thanks uh for that I, I think it's really awesome and uh yeah so 1273 would have been the year before aquinas died i was going to email rudy and say did november 5th have any significance it's not his feast day because the feast day is january 28th and then in the uh the old calendar it's march 7th so there's actually two feast days. If you're going with the traditional calendar, it's March 7th. The, the new calendar is January 28th. Okay, so there's that. It's no, it's from the Back to the Future. It is the date that they go back. Oh, it and is. Forth. Okay. How did you find that out? I Googled it. Oh, it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> I so, consulted so, so, the Google So somebody just kept that date on. He yeah, he did, just he, kept he, that he changed the year. So we're blending together. You know, two worlds are coming together here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right, so uh, who and what is the Holy Spirit is what we're going to talk about, uh, the inner workings of the Trinity. Why are there three people in the Blessed Trinity and not two or five? 
Okay, just I just throw that out there right now. You don't have to answer. Wow, yet, I love okay? how you just started with you know super easy <laughs> question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, does there need to be three, or why couldn't there be four? What do you think? Hmm. Thomas says there had to be three. Oh. Okay. I mean, <laughs> do tell Thomas, please, Saint Thomas, <laughs> tell us. Well, tell well, all. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay. I'm just I'm just kind of uh, uh, teasing oh. that right now. You shouldn't have doubted that we had well, an answer. <laughs> uh, symbols of the Holy Spirit. You think of the Holy Spirit, you dove. think of dove, flame, fire, dove, yeah. flame, fire, flaming dove, <laughs> <laughs> a cooked dove. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about oh, a flaming no. dove. Dove yeah. on fire? Well, I mean, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, like a dove surrounded by a ring of fire. Or something Should we like feel that. guilty for dove hunting? Mm. No. Yeah, I've been once. I felt a little guilty, but uh, hey, they, they are pretty tasty. They, they are. <laughs> uh, and an easy way for us to relate to the Holy Spirit. I mean, when you think about it, I mean the the, the Blessed Trinity. I mean, three persons, one Godhead, and I, I don't know, it just, it, it's, it's, an, it's an amazing, amazing uh, truth of our faith. So we're going to get into that. And so, uh, okay, so let's, uh, here's the symbol, the next uh, slide there, the dove. And then uh, the next one, here we're going to get into this. Why are there several persons in okay, whether there are several persons in God, but yeah, I wonder. Uh, <laughs> well, um, yeah, what do you think? I, I think yes. we should go like have different answers so we vary it. No, I'm just yeah, <laughs> so all right, so uh, here's what he says uh, it follows from what precedes that there are several persons in God. This word person signifies in God a relation as subsisting in the, in the divine nature. It was also established that there are several relations in God, and hence it follows that there are several realities subsistent in the divine nature, which means that there are several persons in God. Okay, this is, okay, so the next one has some words highlighted, okay? So persons. What is a person? Have we ever defined a person? Like, like well, is, a, is, it, is your pet dog a person? Uh, we're talking yeah. like per... Like, what, what, yeah, what, what but it's a, not wait. a human, a person. Yeah, well, I like... You would, you would never refer to your dog as a person, right? No. Right. no. But you would refer to your brother as a person. Yeah. Probably. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Depends on the day. Well, oh, yeah. So why, why, why... What's the difference? Uh, isn't it that it has to be a spirit it's created like body, in the image soul? of God? Body or, and soul. Well, well, no, no, dogs cause, have body and soul. Because angels are uh, still persons, right? Oh, yeah. yeah so, so angels are persons, humans are persons. It has to be a rational... And... God, the persons of the Godhead are persons, but goldfish is not a person. So what's the difference? Well, rationality, right? Uh, so yeah, like, yeah. Well, Thomas defines it as an individual substance of rational nature. Okay, so it has to yeah, be yeah. like one thing, and it has to be rational, intellectual. Okay, okay? and if it's that, then it's it, it's it's a it's a it's a person. So angels are persons, right? All right. So relations. All right. So there are relations within the Blessed Trinity. This is what's really interesting. Like, what, what's the Blessed Trinity kind of like doing? Like, what's going on, you know, in the, in the, within the, the relationship between the Blessed Trinity? Have you ever heard this? Like, what 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 what, what are they doing? Yeah, I think. <laughs> are they watching TV is what you're asking. Like, what are they are doing? They, are they each kind of like in their own corner? Like, oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, Hello, this, hey, God you person. Know? Hello. Like, well, like what's, what's the the dynamic oh. of... Uh, it's, it's actually pretty fascinating and explains why... Uh, there needs to be only three people and not not four or or eight or something like that. Wait, uh, could I yeah. make a guess? Because yes. I actually heard this, and I want to know if it's true or not. Um, so I, I heard is that so the father and the son, well, the, the father begets the son, of course, and so it's what it is that it's their love for each other begets the Holy Spirit, and that's kind of like the continuous eternal cycle. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's it's that's half. Yeah, mostly right. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it's all right. Everything you said was right, but there was a little bit more. So the, 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 the Son is like the eternal word of the Father, right? right? Mm-hmm. So it's like a, like a concept in the mind of the Father, and yet as, he, as he contemplates himself, the Son is the word of God, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why Jesus was called the word of God, right? And so that's the intellect, and because one of the faculties of God is he, he has intellect, right? The other mm-hmm. one is will. So the love between the Father and the Son spirates the Holy Spirit. So you have intellect and you have will, which of course we have, right? Those, those the two things that we have and angels have. Mm-hmm. And but you don't have like a, another. Those are the two things that that God does, for lack of a better word, is He has intellect and He has will. So through the through the intellect, the word is generated, and through the love or the will, the Holy Spirit is. You know, pro- processes. I feel like we have talked about this a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. have we done okay. that? Yeah, because I think we were bit. talking about 
I don't know. We talked about it once before. I'm not going to try to explain why we were talking about it. <laughs> I was going to hey, go down that path. Cecil, I started to have that conversation. I was like, no, because I think at some point we were talking about something that you brought up that like, oh, the Trinity was similar in how like things generated. To it. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I'm going to so, refrain. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, unless like God and you can't like spirate two people in, in the Trinity because then what would be the difference of them? Yeah. You know? Right. But then why is the Holy Ghost called the Holy Ghost? Like the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Why, why do you get that name? Like what's, why not something else? Thomas actually goes into this. Let me see. I may be getting ahead of myself. Here. <laughs> Jonathan, why are you looking uh, at me, Jonathan? Why are you looking at me? Wait, say again. He's holy and he's uh, okay, a spirit. Why, why, yeah, why, why did he get, why, why, <laughs> why is, is he, he called, called the, holy, the, holy, why, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost? Um, I mean... Like, yeah, why, it, why not? Isn't the Father a, a spirit? Isn't the Father a And we a also ghost? don't call him the Holy Father. Well, we do call him Holy Father. Holy I guess Father. we do. That's but like, but we, yeah, yeah so but we don't like, usually say, like, Holy Jesus. Just, yeah. It was just the same. So, like, for yeah. lack of a better term. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit. Uh, so, it's, it's well, Thomas says because it, it shows that the Holy Spirit is of the same nature as the Father and the Son. Because before the second person of the Blessed Trinity took on human nature, he was pure spirit right mm -hmm. uh, so before you know whatever year they, they think jesus became incarnate mm -hmm. you know six mm -hmm. six ad or whatever it is before that you had you didn't have a, a divine person with a human nature you just had a spirit right right and before that in time so he's and so they're, they're trying to show that G, that the holy spirit is of the same nature as the father and the son and they're all spirits Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, okay. okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here, here's a, a creepy picture. Uh, and Thomas says uh, whether this name, Holy Ghost, is a proper name of the divine person. Spooky. Okay. So I think we've talked. See, we, we, we keep coming back on the same kind of topic again. So why are we freaked out by ghosts? <laughs> because it's unnatural. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. The spirit, have we, no, no. They have a. Wait, what is it? You said spirit, but no bot? No. What is it that's freaky about them? Besides like, the fact that they're freaky. Well, so they're separated. It's like <laughs> they're separate. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, we, I think we Body talked about this. Like... Uh, yeah, so it's William's the newbie, so we can uh, throw this on him. <laughs> like, if I said, if somebody were to say, oh, a, a ghost just entered the room, okay, to, most people would be like, oh, wow, that's kind of weird, you know? <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> weird. Why? why, why? <laughs> that's a little that's weird, guys. That's quite what my reaction would be. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, think hey. be I think it would be, uh, into your hands, Lord. I could <laughs> like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or, like, why, you know, when you, if you go to, like a Halloween, yeah. you know, haunted house. Yeah. And they're like, oh, they got ghosts in here, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> but yeah, Jonathan's already kind of... have very mild reaction. <laughs> yeah. so, so why is a ghost weird? I mean, if a ghost is a separated soul and, uh, you know, uh, um, and there's all like all these movies, like like the movie Ghost uh, yeah. was was about that, right? About a, a returning person or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. But Hollywood, you know, has banked a lot on this. Ooh. So why is why is it weird? Uh, you've already well, said no, no, no. I have a separate question, but I'll wait for this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's um, kind of related, but I mean, yeah. Besides the fact that it's separated from its body, it's pro it's probably like you know when you think of like someone dressing up as a ghost for Halloween, it's like, I mean, it's. I mean, you know, there's a person that is just dressing up, but I'd say it's it's kind of spooky because you can't really. It's hard to comprehend that because I mean, we're not walking around like just with our spirit. We're we have bodies, so it's it's kind of weird to think about if you saw something like that happen. You'd be like, this is kind of unnatural for me. It's, yeah, yeah, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you were uh, like driving down the road and you saw. That, that even like that image that we have here on the screen, of course, you would say, Oh, that's a human wearing a, yeah. a sheet over it. It's still kind of weird looking, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but the actual, like a ghost that you can't see is weird because, like Jonathan said, it's unnatural because yeah. uh, a separated soul longs to have a body. It's not natural. Like going, yeah. going to a funeral and seeing the corpse lying there, it's like, it's, Yeah, it's kind yeah. of, yeah. kind of, kind of yeah. it was weird. It's not natural. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I do have a question though. So, what about demons and angels? So, I mean, obviously, you'd be scared of a demon because it's a demon. It's bad. It's like a you know malevolent spirit, but something like an angel. I mean, like if I saw an angel, I'm sorry, but I don't care if it told me not to be afraid. <laughs> but if it just showed up and was like, "Hey, I have news for but you," how, how are you going to see an angel? Like it assumed a body? Yeah, if it appeared, you know, in, As, some way. in, in bodily form. Well, I mean, but they don't always appear in bodily form, right? Well, they they can't appear any any other way. I mean, well, I thought they were like you know spinning circles with eyes and wings and you know. You know, the whole biblically accurate <laughs> angels? Well, no, the only way we can see them it would be if they took on some kind of bodily form, okay, right? Okay, that's true, I guess. Like, okay, so if... Uh, let me, let's do... Okay, this is a good question, because if I said, 
you know, hey, somebody said, hey, a, a, a ghost just entered the, the, the room. You know, the average person would be like, ah! That's kind but of if weird. They said, if they <laughs> said an angel just entered the room, you can't see it. Most people would be like, ah, oh, cool. Don't you think? They'd be more. They'd be more welcoming of an angel yeah. than a ghost. I'd still be kind of I'd put on edge, though. I, don't know, I, I mean, just... there's a reason why the angels always say "Do not be afraid" is like yeah, the first thing to that be they say. Scary, to but they're like group. crazy smart, though. I mean, they're yeah. so intelligent. Yes. Well, I think yeah. after I, you know, woke up from fainting, I probably would be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be like, yeah, this, this is kind of cool. <laughs> But at first, it would probably be pure terror. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like, I mean, like if yeah. an angel just appeared to me randomly, even if I just knew it was an angel without, you know, like if, just knowing it's an angel, even if, if it's in human form, that I'd be terrified for a minute, mm -hmm. like, you know, heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, because we've like never seen it before. Like it's, Something. like I said, it's like it's unnatural yes, to, to yeah. see something like that because you're not used to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess that's true. definitely. Okay. So, all right. So, but with a, with the Holy Ghost, it's nothing creepy about it because they are, it is a ghost and it's never supposed to be attached to a body. And so, uh, all right. So, um, now the, okay. So Thomas says, firstly, from the fact that the person who is called the Holy Ghost has something in common with the other person's. Augustine says, because the Holy Ghost is common to both, he himself is called that properly which both are com called in common. For the Father is a spirit, the Son is a spirit, and the Father is holy, and the Son is holy. Uh, secondly, from the proper signification of the name. For the name spirit in things corporeal seems to signify impulse and motion, for we call the breath and the wind by the term spirit. So it kind of implies motion and action, that kind of thing, right? Uh, okay, so now does the Holy Ghost proceed from the Father through the Son? This yes. is like a huge controversy between the Orthodox and the Catholics. Do you mm -hmm. know about this? The yeah, Filioque? The, yeah. Yeah. It's, I've, but I've, what's, what's the, I mean, do you know, are you familiar with this? The, the Filioque, Filioque debate. It's like going on for like a thousand years. I've heard it, but I don't know what it actually yeah. is. Like, does the, does the Holy Spirit proceed from the Father, oh, I remember as the Orthodox about say, or does the Holy Spirit proceed from the Father through the Son? Mm -hmm. Okay. So why, why would the Catholics say it has to be the Father through the Son? Well, because it's part of the Holy Trinity and they, they, they both, well, it's also, it's the, like I was saying before, it's, it's the love produced by both of them. Yeah. And it's a part of both of them. So it makes sense to be produced by both of them. We Instead don't have any just, official, like the church hasn't like said this way or this way. Oh, no, it has. oh, no yeah. It has. The church well, did. So yeah. it has that it is father and son. Oh, yeah. The father through the son. Yeah. Well, but, the, but the Orthodox say oh, it proceeds okay. from the father. Got it. Got it. So okay. they, they would say the father is the principal and the Holy Spirit proceeds from the father. Then what's the son doing? Yeah, I mean, He's that's the point. Yeah, just say, hey, good job, Father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just, I'll, hey, look, I'll, you just I'll... appeared. I mean, it's the Holy <laughs> yeah. Spirit. I mean, thanks. Good job, Dad. I mean, uh, yeah, it, 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 does, it makes more sense to say that there's a, an actual relationship of yeah. love between the Father and the Son. In fact, mm -hmm. I'd love if, like, some Orthodox person was watching by any chance. Kevin? Oh. Question mark? <laughs> Kevin, are you you're, there? Your buddy. Text him and have him call in. I mean, would, would, would he be able to defend, like... I, I don't, well, he's a recent convert, so I don't know if he knows that much about it, but... Because it's a, it's a it's a pretty big deal to them. I yeah. mean, it's it's a point of a lot of contention. I mean, between the Catholics and the and, and the Orthodox. But to me, it's kind of like a no brainer. Yeah. Uh, so all right. So it's a very odd point to argue <laughs> to the death over. It, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, it was part things. of the reason for the schism. It was a yeah like a big part. Yeah. yeah. I, I would actually say it's a, it's a pretty big deal. I mean. Uh, well, you know, I, I guess what I'm saying from their end to argue that that's something that they disagree yeah. with so greatly. That they would split you know? away from. They're gonna fall yeah. on their sword over that one. Yeah. 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 So. All right, so, uh, okay, so therefore, because the Son receives from the Father that the Holy Ghost proceeds from him, it can be said that the Father spirates the Holy Ghost through the Son, or that the Holy Ghost proceeds from the Father through the Son, which has the same meaning. Okay? What does spirates mean? Spirate, uh, it's, it's the, 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 the procession of the Father, uh, the, the Holy Spirit through the Son. Spirate is is just kind of like the the result of the the love between the Father and the Son, which results in the Holy Spirit. The the word the the verb that they give it is spiration. I guess that's the best thing I can think of. When you think of spiration, you almost yeah. think of like a like a like something spiraling spin, spinning yeah. or something spiraling. Yeah. Like we're not out of control, but it's like a tornado know. spirate. Yeah, I guess you could say <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right. So All right. okay, now the two names of the Holy Ghost. First one is love. Okay, is love the proper name of the Holy oh, Ghost? Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's something we can all relate to uh, as having loved. We love 
you know, pizza. We love our siblings. We love our parents. We love... I like how you said pizza first. Yeah. <laughs> first and foremost. I'm, 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 I'm kind of climbing the ladder of love. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a very common, we, we use it for a lot of different things. And, um, but, you know, mostly we think of it as kind of like romantic love, like these two lovebirds here in the picture here, right? Uh, so why is love the proper name of the Holy Ghost? That, that is the question. That's a good question. It's because he is love. Um, yeah, he is love. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because the the third glorious mystery, the fruit of the mystery is love of God. So it kind of would it kind of oh, makes sense to say, yeah. That's a good point. And okay. that's the descent of the Holy Spirit. Right? Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. the descent, descent of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah. You gotta remember up, up, down, up, crown. Boy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh anybody out there wants to comment? I know this is a pretty deep topic, I have but one everybody, everybody comment being very, from very James. Quiet. James okay. on um Sorry, on oh, Facebook. I get it. it says, usually if God gives you superpowers, it's from the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. If God gives you superpowers, it's from the Holy Spirit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, the superpowers would be like uh, the, the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, like if you can heal or you have uh, prophecy or speaking in tongues or uh, interpreting tongues and that kind of stuff. Those would be, I guess, superpowers from the Holy Spirit. All right, uh, James, thanks for, uh, for, for commenting. And looks like uh, uh, Rebecca... Uh, yes. is uh, there as well. So, Rebecca, yes. good, good to hear from you as well. All right, so here's the explanation of love, okay? Uh, there are two processions in God, one by way of the intellect, as I mentioned, which is the procession of the Word, and another by the way of the will, which is a procession of love. For as much as the former is more known to us, we have been able to apply more suitable names to express our various considerations as regards that procession, but not as regards the procession of the will. Nevertheless, we must consider them in respect of each each procession simply, for as when a thing is understood by anyone, the results in the one who understands a conception of the object understood, which conception we call word. So when anyone loves an object, a certain impression results, so to speak, of the thing loved in the affection of the lover. Now get this, okay, so right now, each of us individually has concepts in our mind Okay, we're mm-hmm. thinking of things, right? Otherwise, we couldn't speak. Okay, so anything that's mm-hmm. coming out of my mouth first began as a concept in my mind, right? Yeah. Okay, so like I'm thinking of something right now, and I think like, okay, dog. Okay, so that, that started as a concept in my mind, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm, 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 I'm kind of like participating in the Trinity through that, okay? Because mm-hmm. I, I can do that. Dogs, dogs can't do that. They can't, they can't have concepts in their mind that they communicate, right? Mm-hmm. And, and words flowed from the concept of my mind. So that's like father to son, okay? And I can also love. I can, you know, have a, you know, a, a love for you all as, as, as children of God or love for my wife or love for my, my parents, right? So I'm, and you guys are actually little walking representations of the Blessed Trinity, Mm. Look at us. <laughs> Congratulations. So just a recap to make sure I understood this correct. So basically why the Holy Spirit is, con- is the proper name from his love is because because the Father and the Son love the Holy Spirit, they have he hasn't it's an imprint of love. It's, it's, not, it's not well, I mean, uh, yeah, they love the Holy they love you. The, the love between, between the all two of them is results hope. in love. Got it. Like like Scott Hahn has said. A man and a woman come together, and they love each other so much that nine months later they have to give a name to it. Mm. Uh, have you ever heard of him? He said that. Yes, yeah. I have and heard and that. so they give a name to their yeah. love, and that's kind of like what the father and the son do, of course. Uh, and and so I, I don't know. To me, it's it, it's if you see a, a cricket or a a, a cockroach, uh, Cecil's favorite creature. Uh, there's one in the bathroom, by uh, the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. A dead one, but I mean, there's one in the they're bathroom. They're not like walking representations of the blessed trinity other than that they have existence mm-hmm. okay that's like that's Agreed. it they're, they're like a trace yeah uh, but we th- that's like our dignity is that mm-hmm. we're i mean we're and and then you you would think it, it plays into like the social things as well as like if 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 a child is in a womb or you know that that is actually a representation of the blessed trinity the image of god why would you kill it right mm-hmm. or, or you know why would you be racist or why would you be to a, to somebody who's you know, an image of the of the Blessed Trinity, or you know what I mean. So mm. it, it has it has some very practical applications. If you understand this stuff, it changes the way you see the human person, whether it be a homeless guy or you know the the the, uh, the Pope or you know somebody of, of high dignity. So, all right, are you all lost? Any other comments? Anybody out there? Nope, not yet. No, okay. People are like, what? What is happening? <laughs> that, I think that's actually kind of cool. I enjoy, I enjoy this kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's move on. The, the last thing here is 
uh, about the the gift, the name of gift as the the proper uh, name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, did you guys? Uh, I put a picture of a Christmas tree and gifts. Did you guys mm-hmm. like? Uh, you guys know about Santa Claus, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course. I, I, what? <laughs> no, Dave. I, I don't want to ruin anything. How could you? Know? you? <laughs> <laughs> there, there was. A, did you? I, this is a total side note, but did. did when did you kind of find out the whole thing about when I was you know, four? <laughs> was it a sad day? What? No, four, four years old. That's yeah, I, I have, what's what happens when you have an older sister and you're just like things just don't add up? And I just asked my mom. I was like, is "Santa real?" My parents were never once like play along. They only played along if we played along, mm-hmm. and they were like, "I can lie to you." Though. Yeah, they weren't gonna lie to me. They didn't write back letters. They didn't do any of that stuff. So they were just like. Uh, my mom was like, Sissel, it's kind of like a game, and you can play the game where you don't have to play the game. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay. She goes, does it make sense that Santa's a lot real and brings presents to everyone? I was like, no. <laughs> so should I feel bad for like taking a bite out of the cookie that my kids left for Santa and then <laughs> saying, hey, look, he ate it. And, and, and the reindeer had a bite of the uh, carrot. Yeah, that's mean, my I job. Know. I don't know. I can go either way on that. I, I, I respect if parents say, eh, I'm not yeah. going to lie to my kids. We, yeah. we put stuff out for Santa, and they did, you know, they would, my, cause I, mostly because my parents wanted to eat the cookie. But at that point, most of us knew. <laughs> like we, all, we knew this is emerges. here's the snack for mom and dad later on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to any of our young listeners. You know, our many, many young children oh, who are yeah. watching right yeah. now. People uh, like yeah, <laughs> you've gathered around with their four and five year olds watching Back to the Pop. Yes, Father. absolutely. Yeah. When did you all <laughs> find out? Yeah. So all right, I think we're safe there. Yeah. I think we're safe. Uh, all right. So why is the Holy Spirit called gift? That's the other official name, Ooh. love and gift. Okay, because we all like gifts. We like to give them. I have this oh. theory that some people are more prone to give gifts, <coughs> like uh, her over there. <laughs> some people are more like they get gifts, you know, like they're more like, you know, I don't, I'm kind of that way. But, but, <laughs> but you have to have the givers and the takers because mm-hmm. some people do just hate to get gifts. I know That's people true. like that. They, yeah. they just like they, they only like to give them. Right. Yeah. So are you a giver or a taker? Yeah, because you have to have both. I, I guess, mean, I mean, I, yeah, if both, everybody's I, the, I could probably be both. You know, yeah. I, got, I, I like giving. I think gifts. there's I one like that everyone likes. Giving, like giving more, yeah. 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 I like giving them a lot. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's pretty so I feel like a real jerk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have an Selfish. Idea. I have a theory. I have a theory. Um, is uh, the Holy Spirit called the gift because um, when Jesus uh, died, resurrected, and was ascended, he got, gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to the twelve apostles? That's what I was thinking. Us? So that we have yeah, the whole, I, so we I have like, like we have the sacrament of confirmation. Yeah. So it's given to each of us. I like it. Roll with it. Yes. Yay. Well, that's all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking then. No, it elaborates. Well, elaborate. it's, 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 it's for giving you such a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> it was a tool. Um, uh, it's like it's, uh, it's, he's given to us to help us throughout our earthly lives, particularly when we need extra support. I'm trying to figure out how to word that. That was or not He's right. like the delivery system for God's grace. <laughs> there you go. Ah, like oh, the, like the Amazon. Yeah. Or, uh, no. Uh, the the divine Amazon <laughs> yeah, delivery divine. truck or something. Same day delivery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here here's what the... uh, here's what Aquinas says. Uh, Gift taken personally in God is the proper name of the Holy Ghost. In proof of this, we must know that a gift is properly an unreturnable giving, as Aristotle says. That is a thing which is not given with the intention of a return, and it thus contains the idea of a gratuitous donation. Now the re- the reason of donation being gratuitous is love. Since, therefore, do we give something to anyone gratuitously for as much as we wish him well? So what we first give him is the love whereby we wish him well. Hence, it is manifest that love has the nature of a first gift through which all free gifts are given. So since the Holy Ghost proceeds as love, he proceeds as the first gift. Hence, Augustine says, by the gift, which is the Holy Ghost, many particular gifts are portioned out to the members of Christ. I think to your point, right? So, the, yeah, the Holy Spirit is given as a gift, okay, so to, to all of us through the gifts of the Holy Spirit and all that. So it's kind of like represents the outpouring of, of grace to uh, creatures uh, from God. And so that's yeah. a gift, all right? So we can all relate to gifts. We can all relate to love. So we should be able to relate to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, logically. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's very good. So that's, uh, that's the Holy Spirit. That's pretty uh pretty cool. Any uh any questions? Anybody out there in social media land? Anything uh that you heard that was interesting or confusing or uh, otherwise? Uh, I see you posted uh 
uh, Williams. Williams, yeah. Yes, uh, under his uh, okay, cool. pseudo, pseudo name, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have we just outed you as the uh, of who you actually are and your your your? Oh no! Oh, I think sorry. you accidentally yeah. did. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Is, is that okay? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So uh, James uh, kind of continued from his you know uh, thought about God gives you superpowers. It's from the Holy Spirit. He goes consider a case where there's a wreck or something really heavy falls on someone and somehow the Holy Spirit comes on them where they can lift the heavy object and save the person. Super strength like Samson had. Um, cause we you know, we've all heard of those. I, I know someone had that happened to like a Jeep, like collapse on a car that someone was on someone that was working on it. And like the father of the guy that was working on was able to lift the car off the kid, which yeah. would never happen on your average yeah, day. Yeah, so they, they're sure. given strength beyond mm -hmm. uh, the, the, like what they naturally would have. Mm -hmm. But, but wouldn't that mean that that strength is there potentially? Cause if you can do it, then you have the potential to have that strength. Okay, it's kind of like. Well, I don't know if I could lift a car, but uh, uh, but but on you an well, but well, I mean, but like you could say like other miracles, like when Christ, you know, like he multiplied the loaves and fishes. That there's no potential for the fishes just or the loaves to be like, you know, boop. There's more of us now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he has to make it happen. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, there's more of us now. Yeah, that's just uh, I okay. Yeah, you're okay. So you're saying they're just merely the matter that was used for a miracle. And so if in, yeah. in James's example of being able to lift the car, God gives us a superabundance of power Momentary. in that yeah. moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not I when I'm like trying to co carry like three jugs of milk usually. But like when those moments when someone's life is in danger or if it's like a moment because I probably immediately after that wouldn't be able to lift that car again. Yeah, yeah. You know, just for that one just, yeah. moment. Yeah, you know the how many times day... I want to be able to lift my car, by the way, when I've done a bad parking job, and I just I get out, and, I <laughs> oh, look at yeah. it and I'm like, I just want to like lift the back end and adjust. I want to lift other people's cars to, <laughs> oh, get, to take their car out of parking places so I can park it. <laughs> or they're like too cool? close to one side. You're like, yeah, shove just over. kind of like, and move it over there. That. Yeah. But you think about movies like The Incredibles, you know, yeah. that that father yeah. had that incredible. So so they, they they're, they're lifting people beyond their nature, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw I was in my front yard the other day, and I saw this like object, like moving through the rocks in my front yard. And it, I mean, it wasn't that big, but it was, you know, probably, you know, half, mm -hmm. half an inch or something like that. And I'm like, what in the world? And and then and there's this little tiny ant. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? It, it's amazing. Yeah. So the How ants, they can carry that. Yeah, yeah, they can carry stuff because yeah. it's in their nature to carry stuff. Yes, they well, carry well, so big. Well, yeah, but you yeah. never, even the strongest person, you never see them like carrying a house around. <laughs> yeah. Or how, how come? Uh, what, what, why? Yeah. Why do That'd be really convenient. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Scott Rogie said, I flipped a car with just my foot and I responded. <laughs> I asked him if it was a Hot Wheel. <laughs> did, did, <laughs> he hasn't responded. Back yet. Did he trip on it or what? Yeah, uh, yeah so. or a Barbie Jeep or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, interesting. You know, having to do with potential because this this uh, comes into my favorite topic, which is nature. You know, the, the nature of an ant is to be able to carry something really huge. The nature of fish is to stay underwater. You know, indefinitely. Mm -hmm. We don't. We can't do that unless we have a snorkel. Then it helps. Yeah. But uh, we do. Did you know that our our minds, our intellects, have a potential for universal being like we can know all things yeah. like like adam who we talked about then we talked about that last yeah, week adam, we adam knew all knew everything you know mm -hmm. adam was created and he's like you know he, he knew the the square root of you know 6283 or you know, i mean he just kind of he had this knowledge but we have the potential to know all things mm -hmm. yeah which yeah. is which, which is going to be real you know realized in a, in a better way if, in glory yeah right so Anyways, yeah, that's that's an interesting conversation. James, thank you so much. You uh, you brought us. Uh, yeah, uh, an interesting topic. Uh, um, oh, how was Scott Rogie? Yeah, he's the car saying that he said the full size car, and I told him we need the story. Yeah, I want pictures. Oh, he, f he, Scott. <laughs> I knew there had to be a catch right. somewhere along here. He says, if you press the accelerator hard enough and long enough, then try to turn, the car will flip. Oh, uh, yeah. With his, yeah, with yeah, his foot. Yeah. He's not wrong. That, that's true. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know if that was any Holy Spirit strength coming in there. <laughs> yeah, unlikely. Unlikely. So, all right. He got us. So, uh, all right. So, thank you for those uh, comments uh, from everybody. And uh, if anybody has any uh, last comments before we move on to the next phase uh, of the program, which is always a lot of fun. In fact, I think we have four different rounds of uh, trivia. I'm so excited about mine. I, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a moment here. Okay. <laughs> I, every Friday, Dave comes into my office. He's like, 
I have really good trivia today. Yeah, yeah he, he's like, I got a doozy for <laughs> you. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a crowd pleaser. I'm telling you. I just like, I, I put a little thought into this. I like okay? how we are always not confident in our trivia, and you Dave just come in like, like, Dave makes true. up for it in all of his confidence in his. Yeah, I'm very well, confident. You yes. came in 30 minutes early when we were in here setting up, and he was like, you guys, I just want to let you know 30 minutes early that I have amazing <laughs> trivia. And okay. it makes us be like, well, why do we even try? <laughs> and, I, and I told Jonathan, I said, you know, here's 30 minute notice that you might want to try to, you know, Get your brain think, think of a couple of, uh, of trivia things. And William, for the first time, has trivia? I do. Right? Okay. I do. All right. Ooh. Very good. A little bit. All right. So uh, if you want to do the honors, and sure. we can uh, <clears throat> move on to the next Maybe. phase of the program. And now it's that time in the show where we give Dave Suma to think about, and he gives it right back. And for the first time in a really long time, we all have trivia. Whoa, hit the post. <laughs> yes. I like that. I've been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to say until I start saying it, but we'll. <laughs> yeah, very, very good. Okay, so uh, how about we allow uh, William to take the honors and go first? All right. Okay, so kind of set it up for us and how what the rules are and how you want us to do it and all that kind of stuff. Cool. So I'll just, I mean, rules are pretty simple. I'll just give the question. You guys can just give the answer. All just right. shout it, just right. kind of whoever yeah, says yeah, it first. First come, first okay. serve. Okay. Yeah. How many questions right. do you have? I've got three. Three, All okay. right. All right. Potential for each of us to get one right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, or some of us not get any right. <laughs> hey. Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just what? assume what? that what? was towards what? you. I wouldn't we'll look see. at anybody in particular, <laughs> there, Jonathan. Uh, we will thinks, see. He thinks he protests us too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first question is, in the Latin Mass, the priest begins Mass with which psalm? <gasps> oh. Psalm 33. 66? No. 67? No. Is it, is it in 68. the 60s? Is it, is it in the 100s or? Nope, not 100s. So okay. is it 30? Oh, so se- is it in 30s? 23. It's not in the 30s. It's not 23. 20, 22. It's, it's not in the 60s? No. It's not in the in 60s. In the 90s? Psalm 1. No. Psalm 70s. 80s. It's not Psalm 80s. 1. Nope. Uh, Gotta go lower. Oh, Psalm lower, 3. Lower than Psalm 1. 1. No, not lower than 1. Sorry. <laughs> lower than 90 or 8 or oh, whatever you said. Okay. Uh, uh, 15. 22. Psalm 15. 13. No, no. 14. 20. Is it in the teens? No. 21. Okay, we give Let up. Let me know when you give up. Okay. It's Psalm 42. Oh, uh, which one is that? We danced around it's that It's the, one, uh, judge me, O Lord my God, uh, deliver my soul from the... Uh, kind of hoping I, you say it in Latin there, William. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, do know it's Eudicami Deus in Deus me... Yeah. Look at him. I, I, can't, hey, I can't remember all of it. Hey, but we'll take I got it. The <laughs> I, I, only know, I, I knew that. Yeah, never mind. I'm yeah. Just so so go. wouldn't know if you were wrong. Yeah. yeah. My I, brother's. I'm my, sorry. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, my, my I can younger say the table serves, blessing so. in Latin. No, let's see. Can you? It's been a long time, but I <laughs> used to say it every single day before we were in Catholic. That's how we all prayed right. for me. Well, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Psalm 42. Yeah. My brother probably like has memorized the whole thing because he serves Latin Mass. Have you never served Latin Mass? I know. I haven't. No. Oh, okay. But yeah, I've I've like I follow along with the mass every time I go, so I've kind of memorized a lot of the Latin. Yeah. And I took you, Latin, so I've for like three years. Y'all so. modern modern day people? Modern day, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So the next question is which sacrament has sometimes been thought of as an affirmation of another sacrament? I, I recently heard this. Which sacrament? Conf- well, you got one out of confirmation. seven chance. An affirmation. Confirmation yeah, is correct. Yeah. That makes oh, only yeah. make sense, really, yeah. if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, Probably not marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Feel a little weird. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I mean, marriage could be confirmation that you got baptized. Because it's kind of like you put, um, you when you're baptized, like you're, you know, part of God's, you know, family. And then when you're confirmed, it's kind of like activating. Is that yes. what it kind yeah. of is? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Activating the gifts that were already yeah. in you. Uh, yes, or, exactly. or maybe taking. Think, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. All right, so the last one I have is, in what year were the luminous mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary created, and by whom? St. John Paul II. Yes. And yeah. the year? Uh, well, he died 2000, um, he, five, he died 2005. 2005. Five, five. So I would say 2000. 2002. Yes, you're correct. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. Remember we said some people may not get any of these right? <laughs> I was not expecting hey, you to say that. Jonathan, stop being a self-fulfilling <laughs> prophecy over here. <laughs> and, you know, we, and we had such a good chance of each of us getting one right. Yeah. <laughs> to be completely honest, yeah. I missed the last question entirely. I know it had to do with JP2, but I was looking at our comments. Okay. So I had no <laughs> so idea what y'all said. Uh, I was just too busy. This was trying to imply oh, that she, she would have gotten it right. I would have gotten yeah. it right. I mean, Jonathan basically had no ch- no checking. I hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, I was just too busy. Jonathan I was in divine contemplation you, time. Yes. I was just. You trying to steal some of my glory there? Right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, had I been uh, listening, had I, been paying, no, I, I probably would have gotten it, not Palmer. All right. Okay. Hey, you know, I got to admit, good questions. Thank you. 
Yeah. Very good Very questions. Good. I like them. Yeah. I like right. when people come prepared with questions. Yeah. You know, like interns. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Hey, I'll do it next time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sometimes you know, some people so, some people don't. Yeah. See, last week it was all on like let's see how much we can beat up Sissel. And this week it's, it's Jonathan's John- back to the t- punching bag. Back to the Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back to, Jonathan. Back to <laughs> the Jonathan. <laughs> okay. All right, Jonathan. All right, Jonathan. All right. No pressure. William did great. All right. I have some I told Dave they're very <laughs> mediocre questions. <laughs> Set um, us up. Set us up, man. Thing is that Expectations sky high. Either my questions are always way too hard and you guys have no chance of getting them or they're just stupidly easy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Also, he's banned from yeah, participating. I, oh, okay. I know the questions. All right. Gives yeah, us a better chance of winning. was like saying my questions and the answers out loud <laughs> uh, while he was in the room. Not advised. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm sure you all know that there are several rites within the Catholic Church. Yes. Like 24, 24 or something. It's not yeah. that. 20. No, 23. You're in 23. 23. 23. Yes. All right. Yeah. We made so up one wrong. of them. Okay. Would, would 23 be several or what? Okay. Yeah. Several. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so there are the four smallest ones. Oh, goodness. Um, and they're actually kind of surprisingly very, very small, some of them. And uh, I'm Wait, curious. Small is in like the fewest people. In the fewest right. people. Oh, uh, uh, like, this is pretty right. obscure. Yeah, it's pretty obscure. So, wait, do we have to come up with the names of them or are the amount of people? The names. The amount of people? <laughs> <laughs> or or okay, four do, thousands... do you want to guess the names of the smallest or do you want me to say the names and you guess how many people? Because we could do it. Uh, how many people? How will we know how many people? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's like, trivia. Like, like, like eight thousand six hundred and twenty-three. I mean, yeah. this like, okay, fine, whatever. I, I don't want uh, okay. to. I don't want to do either. I the give thing up. is, it's like I only know. I don't know all the names of these. So I know, I know there's like an Alex something or another. Alexandria. Alexandria. Andrew, Alexandria. Ma- Ma- Maronite, okay. but it's not going to be Maronite. Is this your only question, no. by the way? I have yes. I have four. Four of them. Four. So this we have is to come one up of four. No, four? we have to no, come no. up with four. Oh, okay. Yeah, the four smallest rites in the Catholic Church. They're all Eastern rites. Mm. Okay. And one of them is actually you think it would be. Well, two of them actually you think would be pretty big. Uh, so Maronite could be one of them. No. Um. How about uh? Oh, what's Byzantine? the one that's really? What's the one? Byzantine in, uh, is one of them. Oh, it is. What? <laughs> yeah, I know the Greek Byzantine rite. Oh wow! Look at that. Six thousand members only. Wow. Six thousand in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Really, Greek yeah. the Greek Byzantine. That's yeah. different from. Russian Byzantine or, or oh, sure. uh, Russian Byzantine. Okay. Yes. Oh, it is. That's on there too. Russian? Oh, three thousand. Isn't there you. like a crom? A crom? No, hold on a second. I'm trying to. I see. I hate. I always see words in my head and I can't remember how to pronounce. These two are going to be Coptic. No, Coptic. that's a larger one. Yeah. This uh, next one's got f- only four thousand people. Is it one that's one of the ones that's like named like a, a country associated with a country? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Belarus. Yes. What? Oh, what? Nine thousand. What? She That's got the only Bella one I could think of. Yeah. I, you I'm guys not, conspired I'm together. I'm There's completely no out. Way. I'm, compl- I'm out. I have absolutely Aaron, no idea. What, at what's this the point? last one? It's the Albanian rite. Oh, Albanian. With four thousand. Okay. Actually, interesting, interesting fact about the Russian Catholic Church: there are only three thousand uh, people in it. Um, thing is, so under Tsar Nicholas, the Catholics were allowed back into Russia, actually be like reformed. Um, but then, of course, in the Soviet Union, everything got crushed. Including Tsar yeah. Nicholas. Yeah, yeah including he got Tsar killed. Nicholas. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and his but children, then, his wife, yeah. After the Soviet Union collapsed, uh, the uh, of course, the faith could come back again. But the Catholics were kind of pushed back out and uh, were kind of heavily rejected by the Eastern Orthodox. So the Russian Catholic Church is sort of like, it's a lot like if, if you've ever been to like an Eastern church, mm-hmm. like, yeah. you know, Byzantine. Byzantine yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is that it's based currently in Australia because that's the only place they could set up shop. They're right. Yeah, so their their patriarch is Australian, and there are almost no Catholics. The Russian, wow. okay. Now, do I say that who? Now, what's what's set up in Australia? Which church? The, the Russian Catholic Church. Right. Russian Catholic mm-hmm. Church is is in Australia. It's based in Australia, it has two that's parishes so in America. I know. And where all, are the two parishes in America? One in New York, and one is somewhere in like the West, Los Angeles. No, not not that far west. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. But yeah, they're very Las small, Vegas. and they're, yeah. I think they're only supposed to be like Kansas City, like thirty priests on the entire right or something like that. Whoa, okay, that's interesting. Crazy. Very small. Well, that was pretty good. That, that was very yeah. educational. It's You're welcome. It was an educational. But this one got two out of four. I am yeah. honestly Impressive. in shock. I was yeah. like going through my head of like, what rights do I even know? You, you could have given us a hint, like Mother Teresa, because she was Albanian. I had no idea yeah, she was Albanian. Yeah. You didn't know, you know that. that? Okay. No. You could have given us a hint if you didn't know. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. She's Albanian. People think you know she's Indian. Yes, I thought. Yeah. She worked in India. But she was Albanian. Mm. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. Okay. Am I going? Yeah. I, I think you're next. Okay. Kind so of building up to the. You know. <laughs> Does it get better? No. Okay. Yeah. Well. So. Just, okay. <laughs> bear, okay. Bear with, no. <laughs> bear with me here for a second. So I was okay, thinking gosh. about. Okay. 
I was trying to think in my head, like, okay, I wanted to do something about saints, but I was like, okay, I want to do like a list of saints. So I finally decided to start researching what the internet considered the top saints. Mm. So most I ended, popular? Yeah, so actually what I ended up with was a list of the 10 most influential saints according to this catholicexchange.com their readers voted. So I'm curious to know who you, like who you all, you all would your knee jerk reaction be the top 10 most influential saints and see if they match with Mary. Uh, Saint Francis actually, you know what? I actually don't think they have Mary on this list. Oh, Saint Francis. So one one person they literally is a comment on here saying like Wait, I didn't even start the game yet. Going. <laughs> Hold on. Start? My brain isn't ready to catch up with you all. Come on, not Mary? And it's like, Sorry. They, they said, decided that Mary was just like too, too big. Too, too big. They just, she's hyper so she's, yeah. Yeah. she's out of the running. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, she, she is the running. <laughs> too big. All right. So now we can start. How Save about... Can, wait, Hold on. Jonathan, <laughs> come on. See, he's smart and for not for not getting one of one. We'll go so around he's... and so I was going <laughs> to yes. say we could go around until one of you can come, can't come up with one. And then we're out. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to steal mine. All right, Jonathan, you can go first. Thank you, St. Francis of Assisi. Hold on. Let me make that, that's got to be on there. Yeah. Uh, yes, he's actually tied with another saint. There's technically 11, by the way. So okay. Be safe oh. because so he's now, tied. William, uh, so if you miss one, you're out of the game. Yep. Oh, gosh. No pressure, William. Wow. Congratulations. Um, oh, he's, he's struggling in first round. That, that's not a good sign for the young man. <laughs> Don't it's overthink a, it too I, much. I, I have one in mind. I'm just trying to figure out if it's going to be right or not. He's feeling the uh, pressure. <laughs> Saint Dominic. Whoa. Oh, that's a good guess, yeah. but oh, is he... no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, already <laughs> eliminated. Wow. I should have given you all lives or that, something. That means it's uh, me and Jonathan. All right, go, Dave. Dave. Go to head death, to head. The death match. Uh, I am going to go uh, with Saint uh, Anthony of oh, Padua. Let's that one. Oh, that's also a very good guess. Hold on. I looked at a lot of lists. I need to double check him. He's actually not on this particular oh! list. Oh! Okay, but he's got to get it so right by to, default. to win. I might have to give you wow. all. Uh, maybe we, we all have one life. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I think. All right, yeah, Jonathan, right, right. you you guess. Saint, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Why? You, oh, that's a good one. That's a, a good yeah, one. Uh, yeah. But I you don't be know. Oh, what? How? This is a no. Scam. This list is horrible. Scam. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, Nick Santa Claus you isn't on there. Blame the Catholic Exchange. Oh, people. that's horrible. You're I want to talk to their man. Some really big people. There's an influential. Remember, most influential. So think about like who influenced the culture, who influenced the Saint Nicholas. Say Nicholas didn't Nicholas. Nicholas a culture. <laughs> My goodness. He didn't count, apparently. All right. Okay, so, uh, you have a life. William, you have a life. Back. So you're back. Okay. I'm back. Okay. I'm giving you a lifeline. I got one out of ten. Boy, we're going to be here till midnight. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Come yeah. on. Just say, come on. Knee jerk reaction, guys. Um, That's not St. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Is it St. Augustine? Uh, hmm. St. Augustine, yes. Oh, It's on there? Yeah, okay. Of course good, he is. Good. Okay. Yeah, Okay, oh, I'm gonna see. I, I'm thinking like, are these people considering like new saints? Like, uh, yeah, there's some new saints, there's some uh, old saints, there's some biblical like, saints. Like how, how well do they oh. know their faith? Or, okay, I'm gonna say Saint Patrick. Saint Patrick, yeah, oh. Saint Patrick. Right. Okay, All right. so Aquinas. No, actually, oh. Saint Qu- I, I knew I figured that was gonna be a sore That's point, but he's not on here. Yeah. I, I, I shouldn't. I like that should just be on there. I'm so. pulling myself out of this game. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, William. Okay. Um. So so far we have Francis, we have uh, Patrick, Patrick, and Augustine. And uh, Augustine, yeah. Augustine, okay. And he, these are just he, saints that range like got a name of everywhere, grass everywhere. Named okay, everywhere. All right, yeah. I'm gonna go with Saint Vincent de Paul. Mm. Ooh, another good one, but also not on the list. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Man, why do you always have to say it's a good one? It's because yeah, yeah, I agree with you're them. You're trying to make us feel good about ourselves. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm competitive, but I want everyone to do well. Okay. I'm gonna say if they know anything about their faith. They would have Saint Therese of Lisieux, but if they if they don't, then they're just they don't know the Catholic faith because she is the most popular saint of the last. Yeah, yeah. apparently 30, they don't know years. anything about their faith because she's not on this oh, list. Wow. Saint, okay. How about right. Saint Teresa of, of Avila or Avila or how do you pronounce uh, it? Hold on a second. I thought she is Avila. She's uh, Avila. Yeah, okay, Avi, 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 Avila. Yeah, hold Avila. On a second. I think would be the one. Yeah, I don't the... believe she's actually on this one either. What? Gosh, Whoa. Lame. Oh, missing, hear... To be fair, y'all are missing Wait, some really was, big. Saint Vincent de Paul was not on no. there. They had this huge like international Remember organization. I, said, named I think after biblical him. too. Like, John? You know, when I found out Mary wasn't on this list, I lost respect for this list. <laughs> yeah, they said a note why Mary was not on the list. They don't know. Okay, okay they can, know nothing. Is it my turn? I have no idea who's doing it. Okay, let me it. ask you. Can we? Are, do do, they, do you... they include angels? Um, no. Okay, they so do no not. angels. Okay. They, was that well, an angel? Saint Michael was a runner-up in the in their a runner-up. Okay, that's what they said. Got a nice consolation prize. Yeah. 
Uh, Close okay. but no cigar. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with... Uh, Oh gosh, these people drive me crazy, <laughs> crazy. Um, uh, let, let's see. Uh, and how how recent is it? Like Saint John Paul II? I mean, uh, it... There's a very recent saint in here. Yes, okay. and, but not him. But not him. Can you say it? That, I, that was a good answer, just so I can Ooh, feel better I about myself. That's an okay answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. How about uh, Padre Pio? No. Oh, I know one. I know one for 100 percent certainly. Okay, that's a good guess. These people. <laughs> see, oh, you're consoling okay. him now. Well, well, thank you. My guess, Saint Ambrose. Ooh, I think you. No, he's not. Oh. Yeah. No, no, he's not. Dang it, uh, I thought he was. Say Mother Tree. A... Mother Tree. Okay, oh, I yeah. knew when you said there <laughs> yeah. was a recent one. Yes. And they didn't know John Paul II? Listen, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Do you want me to just read the rest of them out? Yeah, yeah. So there's a, couple, there's a couple of them guys that come on. Uh, St. Paul? Oh, yeah. Okay. St. Paul? That, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it. No, and St. Peter. Uh, yeah, St. Peter. Oh, yeah, why, why we St. Joseph? Peter? Yeah. Oh, 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 St. Joseph. And then St. Jerome. And then yeah. St. John the Baptist. Yeah. St. Athanasius yeah. and St. Catherine of Siena. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Peter, Paul. Yeah, those ones were pretty. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah we, we should, should have gotten those. those. We weren't thinking biblically. Okay. <laughs> Joseph. So. I mean, we were yeah. even talking about Mary. St. Joseph. We didn't think about him. So he got on the list. What, what a bunch of chauvinists. <laughs> they, they didn't let the lady in. You know? Wow. Okay. Not working. All right. So you already kind of oh, built. Oh, I yeah. kind of built this up. You this, did. This doesn't quite take as much cerebral activity. <laughs> this is kind of more, you know, like how quickly can you get it? Okay. Yep. Right. And as uh, as usual, this is going from really easy to really to hard. really hard. I mean, not really. So get hard. in quick early yeah, on. You get <laughs> in. Yeah. And as usual, there's speed? there's eleven of them. It's speed. It's based oh, on boy. speed. Okay. I mean, and so these are based on something related to the number three. Oh okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Why? Oh jeez. Because the, the Trinity. Trinity. Yeah. Okay. So remember, some of these are pretty easy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I get so stressed out with yeah, these yeah. trivia. Like always wants to win. I feel okay. like Dave's adding years, yeah. uh, like taking years away from my life with this. I'm like getting great. <laughs> she's she's gonna she's start getting all wrinkled. Out. And okay. Show, uh, man. What what is the? Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. The third day of the week. But, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wait, 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 Wednesday. 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 Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, I didn't oh, know how you're talking uh, about it. Like everyone thinks about January. it differently. Different countries Go. think about it differently too. Like <laughs> no. it's too much. Monday no. is the beginning Every of the week. Every calendar we ever look at has Sunday on the left-hand margin. And that's wrong. It? Uh, no, it's the first day of the week. Come wrong. on. I okay, disagree. so Cecil got that one. Okay. That's, that's funny that you get it. It's like this pause. Yeah. <laughs> we had to okay. Think, Dave. <laughs> okay. Third month of the year. Uh, March. March. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Jonathan. Just oh, to, that's a pity uh, point. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, well, I would like yeah. to play back the audience. <laughs> I'll get tie, if anything. Uh, okay. Uh, third book of the Old Testament. Oh, uh, Leviticus. Oh, Leviticus. Oh, Leviticus. Oh. Leviticus. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. We got a game here. Yeah. All right. I'll tie it. Oh, she's so <laughs> Sissel's going to protest every single oh, I think I got that one. Okay. All right. So remember, they're getting a little bit harder. These are pretty easy, okay. right? Uh uh, third U.S. president Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Oh, who Thomas said Jefferson? Jefferson? He said Jefferson first. Did you say? I it? Did. He okay. said it first. All right. See, I didn't protest that one. He said it first. <laughs> <laughs> he said it first. In fact, you reaffirmed it. <laughs> See, I'm right. Okay. I'm right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh -huh. William is guy has come on strong. He's got two. Uh, Jonathan von Weber Hansberg has one. Cecil has one. I hesitated. Okay. I was like, is it Adams or Jefferson? Okay. I was like, Adam, so. Adams, Jefferson. <laughs> Who won Super Bowl three? Oh, oh for gosh. heaven's sake. Oh, no. I'll never guess this. Diane knows this. The Bears. Uh, the no, the guys with Bowl the hats. No, it was like Tampa. It was it was Joe Namath saying the you know, Cowboys, uh, Broncos. I'm yeah. just gonna name Jets. The Jets. The Jets. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, so, so I had no knowledge. By the way, okay. that was a pure um, guess. All right. The third book of the New Testament. Oh, uh, Luke. Luke. Okay. That's Cicel 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 got it. Yeah. Okay. Cicel I was has... waiting for that one earlier, and I was like, Cicel Luke. Has... Luke. Wow. <laughs> All right, so now, oh, did I dear. mention they get a little bit more difficult? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A few times. yeah, you mentioned it a little bit. Sizzle's not enjoying this at all. Sizzle, you're winning. You're, you're, in, you're the lead. But I have to stay on top of it. <laughs> I, I have to destroy uh, these two guys. The only problem moving yeah. as fast as light okay. is in the darkness. Uh, what did God create on the third day? The uh, earth and the, waters. The, the, no, the, the, bird, the fish. No, the separation of the sea and the, and the earth. No, land and the sea. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, the sky, yeah. uh, the moon, the moon, and the sun. No, sun, moon, and stars. 
No. Creatures no. of the land. The birds. Uh, uh, birds uh, fish. No, no, wait, is it, is is it, it day and night? Land? Day and night? No. 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 Just the land? Night and darkness. No. Uh, no. No. So, just so the not ocean? land and ocean? Uh, separation of the lands? Uh, uh, vegetation, every kind of plant that we've oh. seen, oh. every kind of fruit tree. <laughs> Okay. Clearly, none of us are gardeners. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, so the third day. Okay. Wow, how is that the okay. hardest one, guys? Okay. <laughs> so now this so one far. actually gets a little bit easier, okay? okay. But this is going <laughs> to <laughs> Okay. I like that that was uh, just like none. <laughs> uh, what was the gift on the song, The Third Day of Christmas? I mean, the th- th- 12, three th- turtle th- loves. 12 days of Christmas. No, no it's two 12, turtle loves. 12 days of Christmas. Three. Three turtle. Three no. French hens. Three oh, French hens. I was like singing okay. the song. Three yeah, French, French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. It's a little Christmas in July. Thistle <laughs> has four. William has two. Jonathan has one. I got, I got my one. Like, you got your point. one. Okay, these did. are a little bit different. Uh, it's not like the third in order, but different. Okay. Uh, what are the three primary colors? Uh, red, red, blue, red, and blue, and green. Wait, red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. Uh, red, red, blue, red, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So Sissel has uh, opened up an, an oh, in, insurmountable yeah. lead. Okay, so now, now you can enjoy it. You don't okay? have to worry. <laughs> these, these, these guys can't even catch up. Okay. I like. I feel like I get really red. <laughs> Who are the three stooges? Oh, 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 um, oh, what are their names? Goodness gracious. Um, Sissel? You I know. Soul, you know I know. What, like Jimmy? Isn't it, well, it begins with the M, doesn't it? Oh, uh, uh, hold on. What's his name? What's it? No, no. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold yeah, on a second. You do, are you familiar with the Three Stooges? I don't think so. No. I, I used to watch it when I was young. Yeah. They, you know the all oh, three. Oh, Mo. Of, Mo. Mo. Uh, Mo. Uh, oh, Larry. The best one of Larry? all. Larry. Larry. Yeah. Oh, that's not the most popular one, is no, it? Though? The most popular one. Who's the most popular one, guys? That's not helping me. What? Oh, it's a coincidence. Uh, oh, somebody Curly. out there. Somebody out there. Uh, Curly? Okay. Uh, Mother Mo, Teresa. Mo, Mo, Curly. Oh, so by the way. Curly? Uh, Curly, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this was so worn out. Oh, I'm so. Uh, yes, okay. okay, James got that one on our social media. Okay, I think we've been ignoring our social media. No, I, I have been watching uh, them. Brothers and sisters. Social media. Uh, my, my, for whatever reason, my computer's not letting me comment anymore, James, but I promise I'm reading your comments. Okay, she promises. I promise. Okay, the final one. Okay. And I would say, oh, no, now I can breathe. <laughs> no offense to the youngsters in the crowd. I think Sissel is probably the only one that's possibly going to get this one. Uh, famous disco band of the 1970s made up three, of uh, three dog night. <laughs> what? I don't know. No. No. The Bee Gees. No. Bee Gees. Uh, Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Barry, Robin, and Bee Gees. Maurice Gibbs. Bee Gees. How do you know more than just one? Bee Gees. Wow. <laughs> I, the, three dog nights, not disco, by the way. I just was like three, three yeah, dog three, night. Yeah, right. They okay. were in the 70s. So, yeah. No, it's, it's, uh, it's yeah. Bee Gees. Yeah, you know, alive, you're, yeah, staying alive. alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know yeah. The, the, the CPR song? <laughs> yeah. All right. So. And an impromptu concert from Dave. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that was kind of fun. Huh? Wow. Did it live up to its uh, billing? I mean, yeah, I think everybody, I guess so, yeah. everybody came equipped. You know, yeah. everybody, it was good. Okay. Sorry if All I right. screamed in the microphone a few times. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, well, Cecil's blood, score, blood pressure can go down. <laughs> you can rest. Uh, I can rest. Find the rest uh, of the fucking Okay, universe. so uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, Max, do you see Ma- Max's comment? Yes. Uh, Mother Teresa. So he was guessing yes. on the, uh, I think the so, Saints. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that brings us to the end of another thrill packed edition of Back to the Father. And uh, we will be back, God willing, next Friday. Uh, you guys coming next Friday? I should yep. be here, yeah. No, okay. I'll be here. So, so you coming? Yeah, we'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. God bless yeah, you. you. Have Bye. a great weekend. Thanks for joining us for Back to the Father. And don't forget, the glory of God is the human person fully alive. If you have comments about the show, email Dave Palmer at grnonline.com.